Hello everyone! So I'm sorry that this has taken a long time. I actually recorded the actual tutorial part of this video about two weeks ago. I never got around to filming the intro to it. So basically today I wanted to show you how to water marble your nails to make them look like this. You can use any nail polishes. Obviously some polishes work better than others. You'll need some cocktail sticks or toothpicks, but preferably cocktail sticks. These are the ones which have a point either end, or you can use orange sticks for your nails. A disposable cup, any sort of container that you don't really want to drink out of ever again. You'll need some cold water, preferably filtered or bottled, but tap water works fine. So the ones in the video that I actually used were Ico polishes, and I believe that these work really well because they're pretty much one coaters. When I say one coaters, I mean you only have to put one coat on your nail to get a good pigmentation. You have to drop drops of polish into the water and then it disperses out. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this is a technique that you haven't seen before, but maybe something that you can discover. Try it yourself. It's so fun. It does take a lot of time and quite a bit of nail polish, but the results are really cool to look at. Don't forget to put a top coat on and they will last as long as your nail polish lasts. This is the cup of water and I'm just going to use this tape to tape up around my fingernails to just sort of block it round behind and around the other side too. Stick that down against the skin. So the only bit that isn't covered is the actual nail itself. There might be a little bit around the edges but we can tidy those up afterwards. So I'm going to start with rain polish and tea rose polish. Just drop a dot of blue rain nail polish and then a drop of tea rose another drop of rain and then another drop of tea rose and probably one more time I hope my hand wasn't covering up the camera lens probably was. Okay, that's enough. Now I'm just going to take one of the cocktail sticks and just sort of pinch it in and pinch it out. And in between I'm just going to wipe it off. So I'm just going to do that all the way in. And you sort of create a peacock looking pattern when you are happy with your design pick a spot you like the best so I'm gonna go with this area right here and then you just dip your nail in wait a couple of seconds and use your cocktail stick again to just sort of clean up the nail polish around it Or collects. You can move your thumb out the way if you need to. And then that is the finished product. So pretty. So what you can do is cut off the tape or just peel it off. It's handy to have scissors with you when you do this. Just gonna snip can't even see snip the Sell a tape <laughs> and then peel it off and then that's the nail. You can just sort of tap it if you get any air bubbles. You need to work quite quickly with this as it will dry and then afterwards just seal with a top coat. This is the top coat that I recommend. It's by number 17 and it's the double gloss top coat. I absolutely love this. Best top coat ever. So I'm going to do the other nails too, but I'm going to do different colours. I'm going to go with indigo and coral polish, so you can see how it works with the glitter. So I'm going to start with indigo. Drop. Look how beautiful it goes. And then a drop of coral. Coral goes quite pinky. It's very neon, which I like. Another drop of indigo. 
and coral again. And you can do this, you can drop in as many times as you want. You can do different colours too, so you don't have to just keep doing two colours, you can do three colours. Then we're just going to draw, I'm going to pull them in this time. Makes a heart shape. So I hope you can see what I'm doing, because I don't know if you can. <laughs> see, I really like this area here, so I'm just going to dip my finger in. And you can do it with more than one finger at a time, but I'm just trying to show you the different colour combinations that I have. And then just sort of get the cocktail stick again. This is the same cocktail stick that I used for the thumb. And I'm just going to clean up the mess of polish, sort of swirl, swirl the cocktail stick in and then uh, trying to catch it, move it around and that's the end result. If you don't tape your fingers up you will get polish all over your hands which is fine if you have time to clean up or you know if you're happy doing that but I don't like that so having the sellotape really works for me and there we go again the end of that one sometimes it's a little bit of polish left in there that you can't really see so you just want to take a, another drop of polish drop it in this is vintage and basically you just want to go pull it out to the sides make sure it covers the area you can do a couple of drops but one is usually sufficient if you use a darker color you can see better how it's spreading and then just wait a couple of seconds for it to dry and then you can put your thing in cocktail stick in and it just sort of collects all the surface polish and then you just twist it twist it in twist it away and it's all gone Okay, I'm going to try Vintage, Lilac and Cosmic together. Vintage, Lilac and Cosmic. Just taped up my finger. I'm not swearing at you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to start with Lilac. You can put two drops in sometimes if you think it needs two drops. One drop of Cosmic. Oh, maybe two drops. Look at that glitter. I love the way the glitter just disperses with the polish. And two of vintage, I think. And then a bit more of vintage. It's so pretty. I love the way it looks even like that and then if you like stripes you could just go straight in with your nail and just dip dip it there swirl it a little so try not to go too crazy So like you pick that area or this area. I think I'm going to go for here. This is quite exciting. I'm going to spin it around so my nail faces it. And then I'm just going to go. Doop, like that. Again, you can do your other, other nails at the same time. You just sort of clean the nail polish around it. And that's what the water marble effect gave me. So those are the first three. So I'm going to start with Vampira. Look at that red glitter, if you can see it. Which I hope you can. Oh, it's so pretty.
Just one more drop of Vampira. There. If you like, you can put an initial coat of one colour on here, but you don't have to. The bigger your nails is better obviously because you can get a nicer pattern. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for this here. I'm just going to swivel, swivel the thing around so I can dip my nail in and then just do it. It can look a little bit messy so I like to keep the patterns bigger like because after a while it swells and it sort of mingles together. I mean like that's still cool. There you go. Can you see? hope you can. Got all the little swells on it. Very cool. So I hope you enjoyed my water marble nail tutorial and picked up some tips or maybe this new technique that you hadn't seen before. Do let me know if you try it. I'd love to see pictures of your work too. So send them to my email address which is in the description bar below. And there's also links to where you can follow me, add me on Facebook. You can also read my blog which I have been actually doing quite a lot more recently. And I will see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that water... Well, maybe one week ago. No, two weeks ago. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs>